Hello students, in this video we are going to learn what are rational numbers. So any number which can be written as a fraction of two integers, whether it is an in decimal form or it's a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal, it is called rational number. One thing to keep in mind is that here the denominator should not be equal to zero. So integer over integer makes the rational number. So integer can be minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, these are all integers. Integers are positive number as well as negative numbers. And here in the denominator, it can be minus two, minus one, zero is not there in the denominator of this fraction, one and two. It will not be a rational number if there is a zero in the denominator. So rational numbers are numbers having non-zero number as the denominator. So let's jump into our examples and find out whether these numbers are rational or not. So first number is number four. Number four can be written in the fraction as four, or four by one or it can also be written as eight by two or we can even write it as 16 by 4. So all these are rational numbers. It is in the form of a fraction p over q where denominator q is not equal to 0. So next number we have is 0 0.2. It is a decimal number. It can also be written as 0 0.2 over 1 or we can even write it as 2 over 10 or 20 over 100 and so on. So these are all rational numbers. So 0 0.2 is a rational number. Next we have 2.25. 2.25 can be written as 225 divided by 100. So it can also be represented as a fraction of two integers. So it is a rational number. Next is 0. 0 can be written as 0 divided by 1. 0 divided by 1 is equal to 0. Or we can write it as 0 divided by 25. That is also equal to 0. So 0 is a rational number. Next we have number 5 which is 0 0.3. Here 0 0.3 is a recurring decimal. is a repeated decimal. So there is a bar on top of 3. 0 0.3 can be written as 1 over 3. Or it can even be written as 3 upon 9. So this can be represented as a fraction of two integers. So it is a rational number. In decimal form, it is a repeated decimal or a recurring decimal. So it can be written as 0 0.333. So we have just included a bar on top of 0 0.3. So that means it is a repeating decimal. So it is a rational number. Next, we have 1 over 6 or 1 by 6. 1 by 6 is a fraction. 1 by 6 can be written as 0 0.1616. So this type of repeating decimal is also a rational number. Even if it is a negative number, negative of 0 0.16 repeated decimal, then also it is a rational number. All these numbers here can also be a negative number like negative 4 can also be a rational number. Similarly here 0 0.2 which the negative sign is also a rational number. In number 4, 0 upon 1 can be a rational number, but 1 upon 0 cannot be a rational number. This is not a rational number. Now let's come back to our seventh example, which is square root of 36. Square, square root of 36 is 6, which can be written as a fraction 6 upon 1, or it can also be written as 60 by 10. So this is a rational number. Next we have a square root of 3 which is 1.732.05. It is non-terminating and non-recurring, non-repeating. And anything with a square root sign which cannot be further simplified is not a rational number. So this is not a rational number. This is an irrational number. So any number which is under the square root sign, which cannot be simplified in recurring or non-repeating form, then it is a irrational number. So root 3 is not a rational number. So this is all about rational numbers. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.